Hey guys, so in my many years of working on translations for the Lucky Star games, um, much like Patty has said, <laughs> I've um, become succumb, I've succumbed to Japan's moe exportation and I have imported some of Japan's moe. That is to say, I've collected quite a bit of uh, Lucky Star merchandise <laughs> throughout those years, mostly related to the games. and. Um, just recently, I finished off um, a big part of my collection, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go and take some time and show off to you guys all the cool things um, in my Lucky Star collection, um, which will show off many things that um, you maybe you've heard about but haven't gotten the chance to really get a good look at, and I will will do that today. So, without <coughs> further ado, um, let's do kind of the big the big shot right what's everything we're covering today right <laughs> well he, uh, here it is uh, so I took <laughs> the time to uh, put it all in one spot all out on display it's quite a lot you can see I have some duplicates of some things um, it all fits on a table right so <laughs> I guess I could be doing worse right um, I'm not like Patty, you know, it's not- my whole room is no longer, right? Uh, <laughs> my room is still longer, so... Um, it has not completely overtaken my life. Uh, you can see I also have no- no figurines. <laughs> but, still got quite a lot, so... Um, you know, let's- let's get to it. Um, of course, as you know, the main thing I care about when it comes to Lucky Star is the games, right? So, we will start off... Um, with the games, and then after we go through all the games, uh, we will show some of the stuff that I have that is not game related. Um, and yeah. So here's all the games. I posted this um, on Roo Archives a, a couple days ago, or yesterday, right? <laughs> um, people seem to really like it, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy um, me showing off both everything in here and also, also more. Okay. So first up, we've got Moe Drill 1, right, uh, okay. Moe Drill 1, so, you know, first game, game featured, um, the or it's the origin of uh, Hinata and um, Hikage, and also one of the first major appearances of Patty, right? Of course, I've done the video series on this game, and uh, yeah, just recently got the DX pack for this one. Um, and I guess a question some guys may wonder uh, <laughs> when it comes to how much stall, how, how all this stuff, how much did you pay for it? Did you pay thousands of dollars, right? You know, um, it took me a while to collect all this stuff. So I actually, no, I did not spend thousands of dollars. I spent maybe like a couple hundred dollars. Um, I would wait for good sales, right? So don't worry. I was not breaking the bank in and all this stuff. Um, so that's kind of why it took so long to get it. But anyway. So, uh, here's the back of Moe Drill 1's box art. Um, it's kind of not anything too special if you've seen the back of the basic case. It's mostly the same, except it has the little blurb about what's new in the DX, or what's additional in the DX pack, um, which we will, you know, get to. But, you know, there you go. I always thought it was kind of neat, um, the Tsukasa, like she's kind of like doing like a calling thing with her hands and like a smile. It's kind of fun. I always like that picture. Um, I think, no, oh, I might. As, <laughs> I think in the Narabe Kae, the the photo arrangement, are some of those pictures pictures that are not used in the final game? I forget. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I think. <laughs> for, excuse, forgive me if I'm a bit clumsy in in putting these pictures up. I have. <laughs> Not the not this is not something I'm used to doing going through a, a slideshow this way, but yeah. So here's the side of the box, right? It's got Kagami. We'll, you know, take a look at that. Um, and then you also have the other side of the box. Moe Drill DX pack. All right. Oh, okay. No. 
There we go. <laughs> Fumbling with the controls. All right, and the other side. All right, and uh, so one more side. To show off on this box. You have Sukasa. <laughs> All right, so that's enough of the box. What do you get when you open the box? Well, you can take a look. And uh, there you go. So <coughs> the first item that you get in the very top of the box is this DS case. It says Lucky Star, and it's got Konata with cat ears for some reason. <laughs> you know. Uh, and here's the, the back of it. You know, so only the front has anything really interesting on it. Um, back's just blank. If you open it up, um, if you open it up, it's got this little like tag that says, you know, Lucky Star Moe Drill, um, right next to a little spot for the, you put your games in. And I have a better picture of the whole thing just opened up. So there you go. So it's got a little compartment to hold games, and then you got the DS compartment. So for reference, I put my DSi in there. So yeah, it fits pretty um, pretty well, actually. It's not too snug. You could probably fit some additional games in there if you wanted to. Um, maybe you could even fit a charger for your DS where the games compartment is, but not sure. <laughs> But yeah, it's kind of neat. Now the other thing you get, of course, uh, it, aside from the game itself, right, <laughs> is you get um, both a like cleaner. This is a DS cleaner, and the drama CD. <laughs> so first, we'll start off with the drama CD. Just a good, you know, full picture of that, and. This drama CD, if you know my channel's history, you know that I translated one part of the drama CD. Um, you know, if you know, you know, it's uh, the one where Patty goes... <laughs> right, that one. <laughs> so... Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day, uh, in the f uh, one day in the future, I'll have to come back to it because I was listening to this drama CD um, the other day, and uh, it's pretty funny. So <laughs> definitely would like to return to it in one day in the future. But yeah, it's a drama CD. It's cool. And then let me explain this. Right, it's a like I said, it's a cleaner. So the little Miyuki pad, like the square. You can, you, you peel it off, it just kind of sticks to this paper. And then the, the, the side with Miyuki on it is like, you can rub your like DS screen with it. And I guess like if you got it wet and you like kind of rub the screen, you could kind of clean the screen that way. Um, I don't know why it's of Miyuki. It's kind of a little weird that's like this little square, <laughs> but there you go. You could clean your screen with it, I guess. I don't. Probably nobody ever used it for that, um, but <laughs> there you go. And then lastly, of course, we have the most important thing, right? The game itself. Okay, game itself. And you know, if if you've I've shown off the physical copy of the game itself um, back when I was showing off the local multiplayer for for Moe Drill. Um, so, you know, it says like, let's mo, uh, atame no exercise, right? Let's head exercise. <laughs> yeah, and it's, um, uh, yeah. Refresh. So, yeah, it's basically like, is your, is your brain working, working well, you know? <laughs> Do, like, refresh your, your brain basically with the, with the, the moe drills, right? Uh, <laughs> And then uh, the side. So it's black. It says just says Moe Drill. Um, then the back of the case. Again, pretty similar to the back of the box itself. And 
And then if we open up the case... Looks like that. Got your manual, got the game. You know, um, if you're not familiar with um, DS games that are from Japan, I don't, I don't believe any DS games in the U.S. Maybe I'm wrong. Had the black, like, background for Nintendo DS. Like, I think they were all white. Um, all the ones I have are, at least. <laughs> so, it's kind of a neat thing. Then we have the manual. A closer look at the manual, you see. Uh, Konata is holding Yamo, and yeah. So, also, um, you know, fun blast from the past. Um, the the one of my copies of Moe Drill. I have three. <laughs> I have two regular ones, and then the one from the DX pack. Um, came with Club Nintendo. You could redeem it for Club Nintendo points. Guys, don't. Don't steal my Club Nintendo points by redeeming it at club.nintendo.jp Because uh, I will be very upset, right? <laughs> Alright, yeah. So that's kind of neat, I remember? Club Nintendo. Actually, if you visit this link, um, the QR code, it doesn't actually take you to Nintendo's website anymore. It's kind of odd that they don't still have that, that URL, but I um, guess, guess not. You'd think it would take you maybe to like, my Nintendo or something, but, you know, I don't know. Kind of bizarre. Okay. So I also have the back of the manual. So you got the other characters. You have, you know, Kagami, Tsukasa, and Miyuki. And then it's like saying something like, <laughs> Is your brain working correctly? Um, it's like, uh, yeah, like basically compete in Moe drills, right? With, with cute high school girls. <laughs> And, uh, like earn items, earn um, partners, and you will understand your your or you will come to learn. You will also learn your uh, moe drill number. So they had like a moe drill number in the Kitasuda mode, which is like when you battle characters back to back, and you would get something like you get a, a basically you get the equivalent of a brain age. Um, <laughs> it's kind of interesting, right? And it's like also it's chock full of mini games, so. You'll have tons of fun, or have so have tons of fun. I, I greatly enjoy it. Uh, yeah. All right. And then we also I uh, recorded a video. I've recorded a couple of videos throughout. We flipping through stuff. So if you ever wanted to look at the manual, uh, quickly flip through it. Tsukasa, right? <laughs> they used to write Tsukasa. Well, they still, in Japan, they would write Tsukasa's name sometimes as Tsukasa. <laughs> or, you know, they romanize it that way. Kind of fun. Alright, and that does it for Moe Drill 1. So, of course, next up in the in the, the lineup, we got Moe Drill 2, also known as, um, proper name is uh, Shin Raki Star Moe Drill, uh, Moe Drill um, Tabirachi, right? So like true lucky star moe drill. I think people translate it as like on a journey usually. <laughs> uh, DX pack, right? Um, like most covers, right? This cover is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, like most covers for these games, at least with art like Rogue and Ultasai, um, the covers don't really reflect what actually happens in the game. So <laughs> if you're like, oh, OMG, did they get like is the wedding scene happen? I I don't think so. <laughs> But maybe some Moe Drill 2 experts will be able to tell me. Because I have not actually played all that much Moe Drill 2 yet. There you go, there's the box art. It's kind of cool. Uh, and then here we have the back of the box. It's got Ko. Ko's on there. Automatically makes it awesome. Um, then it also says all the stuff that's in the deluxe pack. Uh, which, there is quite a lot. This Moe Drill 2 is probably... Uh, has the most things, um, in my, at least in my collection, <laughs> has the most things associated with it out of all of them. Um, 
So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot to show off. So it's the side of it. Or the top of it, I think. <laughs> and then one of those other sides. Got Miyuki. Like a cow get up. Got Kagami and Bunny. And then we've got Sakasa as a puppy. So, pretty cool. Now when you open up the box, looks like this. Um, right? Okay. <laughs> Again, not the best at managing the OBS like picture stuff. But there we go. So it looks like that. <laughs> So, but you might think, oh, it's just a game. Uh, it's a, this looks can be deceiving, right? <laughs> Tons of stuff is in this box. So, uh, first, we've got another screen cleaner. You might be like, how is this a screen cleaner, dude? It just looks like Miyuki, like a Miyuki keychain or something. <laughs> well, on the back got this like weird material that can be used to clean your screen so I don't know what it is with using Miyuki for a screen cleaner but you know happened twice it's all it's all I can say what does that mean I don't know um, okay next item in there you have is you have Another DS case. So this one says true lucky star and has Kagami on it. And um, unlike the other one, which like opens up where you... Like this one, you slide your DS in from the top. As opposed to opening up the top and placing it flat inside. As you can see. So it's a little different. It's actually quite a bit different. So here's the back. You got a little compartment. Separate compartment. Um, to hold, I guess, games or maybe a charger. Um, but there you go. And then if you open it up, um, they have like a strap um, that you can unravel. Got a cool little attached uh, picture of Akira in a swimsuit, I guess. And you got some compartments to hold games. And then in the top, I didn't really show it. I didn't have a picture of it. And take a picture of it. Um, it's where you'd slide in your DS. So, all right. Now, what is this? This. Oh. So we're getting up to a very interesting item. Probably the most craziest item I would say in the entire collection. <laughs> um, so this is a tapestry of Kagami, and as you can see, it's pretty much like. I guess body pillow art, <laughs> um, but it's a tapestry, it's not a pillow case. Um, and so I have a video of it and some pictures, and we will take a look at those. So it's pretty big, and uh, apologies for it being like this because it's got all the fold marks, because <laughs> obviously I don't really hang it up. Um, but it takes up my entire table. <laughs> uh, not that my table is super big, but you know, it's, it's no small tapestry, that's for sure. So we got some pictures of it. Take a better look at it. So you have the top part, you know. Then I took some pictures going down. Yep, there we go. More of Kagami. Alright, and rest assured, guys, for whoever needs it. Whoever needs it. <laughs> rest assured, I got a picture of the feet. You know, if you need it. <laughs> okay, yeah, enough of that. <laughs> so, yeah. It's very silly. Um, there you go. 
Mahogany Tapestry. All right, next, moving on, we got the game itself. Um, it's just where I put it in my slideshow. And I don't think I've shown, I've, maybe I showed it in episode one of Moe Drill 2, where I made that joke about having to read the manual. I forget if I showed the game case. Um, but there you go. It's kind of similar to the first one, but it's got Kagami being the professor instead of Miyuki. And got line goes up, so you know, you're, I guess that's your like your intelligence, right? You get smarter as you play this game. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Back of the case. Doesn't have Ko on it. Um, you know, I'm getting conflicting messages about whether Ko is actually in this game. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I need to really play Moe Drill 2. You know, I'm sure all you guys know that the, the video series for Moe Drill 2 has been kind of... kind of been on hiatus, but we'll get back to it, for sure. Looks like there's all sorts of cool stuff. You know? You got Fate stuff. Um, got Hyori in it. Hyori wasn't in Moe Drill 1. And, uh, yeah. So here's the side, if you want to know what the side looks like. Very similar to the one for the original game for Moedro One. Um, then, if you open up the case, looks like this. Again, similar, <coughs> similar sort of style. The first one, you know, at least for the manual. You got Nyamo on the on the game cartridge. Now for the manual, close up of the manual. Again, there you go. At the back of the manual. I think back there, the yellow slip is a, another Club Nintendo redemption thing. <laughs> so yeah. So it's like, uh, in this time, the Mo in the Moe Drill uh, character, partner up with a character and like, Enjoy um, over ten types of of um, basically drill battles, essentially. So, yeah, says some stuff about the game. <laughs> Got Nyamu, um, but you know, let's take the well before we get to the manual. Um, there's also a little video of the Wi-Fi connection like guide, which. It's not really Lucky Star related, but um, I've never seen one of these, um, so it might be like a Japanese thing, basically telling you how to set up your Wi-Fi stuff for your DS. And I got a real kick out of seeing the Windows XP background in there. <laughs> you know, makes me wonder: did they have to get, you know, they have to talk to Microsoft <laughs> to get that picture in the manual? I don't know. But either way, it's just a manual about how to use the Wi-Fi on your DS. And I think I gotta clean up some OBS stuff. There we go. And um, now the actual manual. You can see Moe Drill 2's got quite a lot of interesting things going on. <laughs> Crazy pictures in there like Konata with the red eyes. Then I pointed this out in the in the video as well. <laughs> um at part one. I gonna get gonna get there. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Yep, there we go. The very suspicious picture of Miyuki. <laughs> the Tsukasa again. You know, Tsukasa fans. You know, it's not Tsukasa, guys, it's Tsukasa. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Now, you thought we're done? Like, you shut off the game. We gotta clearly be done with, with the goodies, right? Uh, no. <laughs> not at all. Because... Now, if you know about the part in um, 
Rogue Akonoto Sai in episode 5 when uh, Konata plays a card game, plays like poker against Miyuki. It's, um, <laughs> you'll know that they use these cards. They use the Konatan Suka Suka uh, Trompu cards, which basically is the Konatan like see through cards, like see through playing cards. And uh, yeah, they come with Moedro too. So it's a nice reference to Moedro too in, in Rogue Akonoto Sai. So here's the side of the cards. There you go. Back. And uh, uh, I took pictures of all the sides, but they all kind of look the same. It's kind of all the same ordeal on all the sides. So yeah, so. In terms of what the cards actually look like, this is what you get when you open up the card pack. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're really reflective when they're all lined up like that together, mashed up together. And here's the other side. So one thing that um, people might say about these cards, um, well, let me get to that in a second, is, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> hold off my comment for a second. So here's what the cards look like all, you know, out. So you'll see um, the f you have each of the four main girls as like different suits and um, they're clear cards. So you can see the back, let's, let's put them on a sheet of paper. So that way you could kind of see them better. Um, so yeah, for Kagami, they wrote them, they write out the, the numbers like with Roman numerals and you'll see they kind of do it different ways for the other characters. This is um, cards six through, yeah, six through um, one. They they don't have an ace for um, yeah they don't they don't use an ace they use one, which is kind of weird. <laughs> so there you go. I don't know if that's like a Japanese card thing. Maybe they that's a normal thing. I don't know, but uh, for whatever reason they use one instead of ace. And then uh, for uh, Sukasa. Um, they use clover, you know, it's clovers, these clubs, and the numbers are written out, you know, numer um, Arabic numerals. I like these ones are green, green's a good color. And then, uh, one through six. Okay. And, uh, for hearts, we have Miyuki. So we have uh, these for ja Joker, Joker through seven. <laughs> so they have a Joker for each suit. So this this deck has four Jokers. Um, and for six through one for Miyuki, these are also just written out with numer uh, Arabic numerals. But Konata is a bit different. Konata they're written out in uh, Japanese. So you have Joker, King, Queen, and uh, Jack, and then Juku, Hachi, Nana, for 10 through 8. So, and in here you're going to have uh, Roku through uh, Ichi for 1 through 6 for spades. Alright. Now, um, one of the things you'll notice about these cards is uh, people will usually, I've seen people like say about these cards, like it's kind of weird, right? Like these cards are see-through. Like <laughs> how are you supposed to play games with them, right? <laughs> well, it is a reference to, um, was it Kaiji? Where they play Mahjong with um, clear Mahjong tiles. So it's like clear playing cards. <laughs> um, but the thing is actually, is that while you can see the characters on the card and you can see the suit, right, as a result, um, for everyone except for Konata, you actually, when you're looking at it um, from the like the opposite side, right? The side that, like, if you're not, they're not your cards, you know, you're gonna see that side. Um, you only can see the suit. You can't see the number. You can't see the value um, unless the suit is Konata, because for Konata. 
they made it so that way, like, you know, the other ones, they had it be like, um, a star, and the star only has the number on one side, right? So you can only read the number on one side. But for Konata, they don't have a star. They just put a, like, the number directly on there. <laughs> with nothing covering it, so... It's kind of an interesting scenario. So if you have Konata cards, your opponents can see that you have, you know, they can see the whole thing, right? <laughs> but for any other suit, you can only see what the suit is. So, you know, maybe there's some interesting card games that you could create based around um, the fact that, you know, the opponents will have limited knowledge of um, your opponent's cards. That might be kind of cool. Um, there you go. So also, just another good look at like the characters on the cards. These are the Jokers flipped over to the other side. So the Jokers, you can tell if they're Jokers because they won't have... I guess, yeah, you can also tell if they're Jokers um, regardless of suit. Because they will not have like a star or a number on them. On the corners. Okay. Next up, we've got the drama CD for Moe Drill 2. So this drama CD, I've never um, posted anything for it, but uh, I would also like to one day uh, make translations for the tracks on here. Um, I think they're like nine different, they're like shorter than the ones for Moe Drill 1. Moe Drill 1 kind of have like kind of longer stories that last like 15 minutes or so or 10 to 15 minutes whereas I think these ones it's like nine or so tracks that are like two or three minutes long um, and I think a lot of them focus on Akira um, if I'm not mistaken maybe I'm wrong about that but I know they're shorter because um, I listened to a few of them <laughs> so there you go drama CD okay and then um, inside of the box also uh, there was like a little promotional slip for the um, Okiraku box, which I don't full like I guess like you could mail in this to get an Okiraku box, which would come with um, some stuff, extra goodies. Um, I don't personally have the Okiraku box, so I don't fully know exactly what it's like, but I would assume this is how you get it. You have to mail this in. Um, obviously the deadline for this um, is like September 26th of this year, or not this year, of uh, 2007, probably. So obviously, or even still, it says like, um, sick, maybe down there in the mailing slip, it's like 2007, uh, June 16th, so, <laughs> you know, nonetheless, whatever pr this is promoting, um, uh, it looks like you could either get a Konata or a Kagami version of this box. Um, maybe come the, the difference is in the little um, figure you get. Um, but yeah, I don't fully know everything about the Okiraku box, but <laughs> there you go. Um, whatever this is promoting, if it was the Okiraku box or something else you'd get by mailing this in, uh, obviously the deadline has long since passed. Uh, although I do wonder, if you were to send that into Katakawa these days, what would they, would they, uh, would you get anything? You know, it makes me think of the, um, there's some, <laughs> sometimes with these really old promotions, if you send something in, um, send these things in, even if it's long after the fact, they might still be like, hey, you remembered that? You know, but I don't know, maybe they would just throw it in the trash, be like, who's this guy? Sending in old 15, <laughs> 15, or no, 17 year old, um, mailing slips, right, or whatever. <laughs> But anyway, another thing you'd get is this light novel cover. So I guess if you were like really embarrassed um, about some light novel you were reading, you could cover it with this. So it's like Hagami being all bashful and being like, uh, 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 I'm not reading like a light novel or whatever. <laughs> I don't know why she's so bashful about it, but. She must be reading a very suspicious light novel. Uh, yeah, light novel. On the other side, we got of the of the the cover. You have um, Sukasa, and it's like, uh, let's be more honest. Um, but uh, what is this 
light novel thing. <laughs> so I guess she doesn't know what a light novel is or something, but... <laughs> or... Yeah, I don't know, maybe, or maybe she's like, I don't know what the light novel, what light novel it is, right? It sounds like she's saying she doesn't know what a light novel is, but... <laughs> anyway, there you go. And then, uh, unfolded, like fully folded out, looks like this, so... On the other side would be, you know, a place to put your light novel, and then this is what you would, I guess, see... What you, what other people would see, right? So you reading your light novel, it's probably something... <laughs> Something suspicious, <laughs> if you, you want to have a cover for it. Um, and uh, everyone else would be none the wiser, because um, you're just you're just looking at Lucky Star stuff, right? <laughs> there you go. Now, still, still more, still more stuff. <laughs> last last thing that's part of the DX Pack main box is uh, these stickers. So. Interestingly enough, Konata is not represented in these stickers. <laughs> instead, they were extremely based and decided to have Ko instead. So, they knew what they were doing. Uh, you know, <laughs> there's your stickers. So it's all the characters in their like animal forms, I guess, right? So if you haven't seen all these characters in their animal forms, uh, they're, they're animal that represents them, right? <laughs> So you know, I like uh, he, uh, Yukari with the with being the bear holding the fish. It's kind of cool. All right. So now, when it came to Moe Drill Two, I made sure that I got the pre-order goodies. So yeah, whole nother rabbit hole. Some of these games came with pre-order goods, where if you pre-ordered the game. On top of the DX pack, you would get even more stuff. <laughs> so I had to because one of the one of the pre-order goods for Moe Drill 2 is Ravish Romance, right? Ravish Romance, if you you, you don't know, is the demo to Royal Gakuen Ultasai and has many differences that I cataloged in my translated playthrough of Ravish Romance. So there you go. It's kind of cool. I don't know, it's kind of crazy that they would include that as a pre-order bonus for a DS game, like you get a PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there you go. Here's what the, the disc looks like for, for Ravish Romance. I'm not sure if there's um, really anybody who's documented what that looks like. Because most people just show the case, I think. But there you go, looks like that. It's kind of plain, but I guess kind of expected, if it's a demo disc. And uh, I was kind of surprised to see this. The backside of the Ravish Romance disc is blue. I don't know why it's blue. It's not a Blu-ray, right? <laughs> it's not a Blu-ray before Blu-ray before its time. Or I guess it was. T I don't know. Maybe it's not before its time, but certainly um, I didn't know the PS2 could read Blu-ray discs. <laughs> it's a wannabe Blu-ray, right? Kind of crazy. I'm sure maybe somebody in the comments is like, no, it's blue because of the... If you know why it's blue, if there's a reason why it's blue, feel free to tell me, but... Uh, it's blue for some reason. And uh, also, camp comes with it, is you get the Gomenne Maxi CD, which, if you know the lore, right, early this year, um, I put in the public consciousness the fact that there's actually three different versions of the CD that you can get. So the song, this, this, this CD comes with three music tracks. It comes with the full version of Lucky Lucky Everybody, which is the OP song to Moe Drill 2. And then it also comes with uh, Lucky Suki Ya, which is the OP to Ravish Romance, the full version of that song. But then you get one of three tracks, and it's, as far as I know, it was, it was random which one you get. Um, they all look the same. And so you'd either get a Konitsa solo version of Lucky Lucky Everybody, a Kagami solo version of Lucky Lucky Everybody, or you would get the full Hinata version of Lucky Suki Ya, yeah, which is the version that they use in the actual OP to Ravish Romance. So 
It's kind of cool. Um, and for the longest time, people had only really uploaded the Konata one, and it was in low quality, the Konata Solo. Because I guess people just weren't aware that there's like, you know, multiple discs, multiple versions of the disc. So it wasn't until I bought the Go Man Name Maxi CD for myself that I happened to get one that, the one that had Kagami's Lucky Lucky Everybody. And I put that up, and then I told everyone about it, and then people came forward to give me uh, copies of um, the Konata song and the Hinata song. Um, so yeah. Um, so as a result of, of, I got, I actually have two of these <laughs> now. Um, from one from the DX pack, one I just bought the disc on its own. And so now I have the Kagami one and I have the Hinata one. So, do I dare try to buy random Gomeni Maxi CDs to get the Konata one? Uh, I'm probably good. <laughs> but I'm glad that we were able to solve that mystery. Because um, there was a lot of songs. There was two songs that you couldn't listen to at all and one that you could only listen to in okay-ish quality until I uh, brought that to light, so it was really, really cool to see that come together. Yeah. Kind of a story with that one. Alright. And then next up we have... the... Lucky Star Moe Drill Tabedachi... <laughs> Moe Drill 2... Light Novel. I was completely thrown off guard when I saw this, because I had no clue about this Light Novel. It's like, what, there's a whole light novel that's about Mo Moe Drill 2 or is related to Mo Moe Drill 2? And I never heard of it until uh, I had gotten it as part of the pre-order goods. So, yeah, I've been told by some Japanese people that it is a very good book. So uh, I will look forward to reading it uh, eventually, right? As with many things on my channel, um, these things take time. I'm not... <laughs> Not the fastest reader at Japanese, so it'll take me time to get through it. <laughs> Here's the side of it. It's only a hundred pages, but you know, uh, light novels are no, no, um, they're no slouch when it comes to uh, reading, <laughs> the reading ability you need in Japanese. <laughs> and then uh, here's the back. And lastly, last picture we have in the Moedril 2 set is, um, here's what the inside of the book looks like. You know, it's a light novel, so got the text in there. And, uh, it's like one of the chapters, I think. So it's like the scary, um, culture festival. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, there's Moedril 2 for you. It's quite a uh, long, <laughs> long thing to get through, but it came with a ton of stuff, what can I say? Now we're on to the next section, <laughs> which will be shorter, um, but definitely no less interesting. Because we got RGO, Roaco Noltesai, PS2 version. So, you know, I've, people have given me all sorts of grief about the fact that this box art looks the way it does. All I can say is... Play the game. <laughs> play the game, but also be known that this is not something that happens in the game. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there you go. It's the back of the box. And, uh... You know, pretty cool. You might notice that uh, Yamato is holding a black phone in the picture. Now, if you play the game, you'll know, or if you watch the videos, you'll know that her phone is actually pink in the final game. So this is a a beta version of the CG that has made its way into the um, into the box art, or into the yeah box the box art on the back. <laughs> there you go. So there you go. Um, one of the sides of the box. This one has Kagami on it. This one's got Tsukasa. And then last but not least, we got Yuki. Again, Konata gets the shaft, gets shafted on a lot of these. 
you know, kind of wild. Anyway, so uh, once you open up the box, um, you have the game itself, right? Now, if you so even the the actual disc box art for the DX pack has this cover art. Um, if you have if you bought the non DX version, you'll get the one with Konitsa Ka uh, holding Konitsa's hand, and she's like a good an angel, right? <coughs> also, something that doesn't actually happen in the game, you know, as you know, <laughs> if you've played the game or seen the game. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. Lucky Star Games, uh, Lucky Star in general, really loves to just bait with its artwork, right? <laughs> so there you go. So I don't actually have the 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 regular version of the RG the Rogue I can also say PS2 box art. Um, don't really plan on it because I mean, why do I need two copies of it just for a different box art? But you know, there you go. It's the back of it. Again, Yamato has the black phone. Um, yeah. Um, I feel like I've posted about this where the regular... It's either some earlier version of this box or maybe the regular version, the non-DX version of this um, box has a CG of the... where the protagonist is imagining what a um, maid cafe looks like and... I think one of the characters' colors of her... Uh, I think Hiori is wearing like a different colored outfit or something. So it's also a difference. I'll um, show it on screen if I can find it. <laughs> yeah, so that's also a difference, but that's not on this one. Because this is the DX version. And then uh, side. Oh, pretty... Um, I think a lot of Japanese games kind of just look like this on the side. <laughs> It's like white with the black text. And uh, if you open up the game, there you go. It's the box. There's the manual and the CD. And here's the disc. Got a memory card holder. There you go. <laughs> got a. Yeah. So it's got um, Yakagami and Miyuki wearing their uh, Lucky Star Universe outfits. And, uh, where did I, okay, so I think I have some things out of order, um, but I do have this video of the manual. So yeah, there's the art that's on the regular version of the box art. Um, if you ever wanted to know what these manuals call the protagonist, they call them Karakawa Kompu, <laughs> which is not really a name, right? It's just Karakawa, like Karakawa Shoten, and then Kompu, I guess, like being like complete, like completion. I don't know. <laughs> it feels like a very standard name. <laughs> so you get some bios on the characters. Um, you know, perhaps in a future video I might talk about what stuff like that kind of says, but for the sake of time, we don't have time to, to go into the nitty gritty of, of everything. But <laughs> there you go. That's the manual. Um, so also in this box you get a little um, Ro High School pin, Ro Gakuen uh, pin. So I believe this is the logo of Ro Gakuen, and it's got the it's got the cherry blossoms, dude. You know, cherry blossoms. Every time I every time I think of cherry blossoms, I'll be honest, I think of Ro Gakuen Oldasai. Everything, cherry blossoms are definitely just Ro Gakuen Oldasai in my mind. And uh, I'm really happy to see that the Roo High School um, logo or pin, right, reflects that. Uh, you also have this. Um, I guess you hold like cards in it. It's like a phone card holder for like telephone cards. <laughs> it's a Japanese thing. Um, so it's like she's meaning me here, saying like, "Do you really? Are you really like? It's like, are you really?" gonna use it use this basically right? you know are you really gonna use it um, I don't know maybe some people did uh, I am NOT going to use it cuz I don't have any use for it, this kind of thing but um, maybe somebody did so here's the other side of this um, card like card holder um, there you go 
Uh, I know there's some other unboxing of the DX pack that wondered what this was. And I'll have to admit, I also don't really know what exactly this is supposed to be. <laughs> um, but it's a little, like, plate thing <laughs> that has the Row High School logo on it. I guess you could just stick it on something. I don't know. <laughs> you could, I guess. <laughs> stick it on something with the holes. And here we have some stickers um, for the different characters in the game. Do they represent everybody in this game? That's a good question. So we got Konata, Sakasa, Kagami, Miyuki, Ko, Hiori, Hikaru, Sojiro, Hinata, Akira, Misao, Itaka, Patricia, Yukari, Hikage, Ayano, Minami, Nanako, Yui, Huyuki. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So you're going to be missing some characters in there. Um, Minoru is one, right? Um, who else you guys? Who else is missing in here? Um, so Minoru is missing. Uh, is Yukari here? Yukari doesn't seem to... Yukari is here. Ikage is Hinata represented? She is. I'll have to think about who's not in this list. Um, but there you go. You got most of the characters. Um, little stickers of them. You have this thing. Konata's winner choice. Um, it seems to be some sort of um, promotion thing for Comptic probably. Um, I don't really know exactly what this is supposed to be about, but it's got some like information on some, I guess, upcoming things for um, the winter season, I guess. In 2007, which uh, is kind of delayed, right? Because if you know, this game was supposed to come out in 2007, Rogaku Otosai was supposed to come out in 2007 in November, but it got delayed to January, so I wonder if this is actually a bit out of date. Um, because of the delay, but uh, it seems like you got some like stuff relating to like Higurashi, and H2O, or whatever these things are. <laughs> Admit I'm not entirely sure what exactly what's going on with this, but I have to spend some time to read it. But um, haven't taken a close look at it yet. But there you go. It's got some promotions, I guess, for some upcoming things in the winter season. Um, for probably Comptic. There you go. So it's more of a promotion than a like goodie, I guess. But oh, uh, backside of this, um, same th same thing, right? So we got some more promotional stuff. There you go. And uh, this is a. Like informational thing about um the next this is actually out of place this is like from <laughs> for the sailor uniform the the royal Gakuen school uniform that you um can get uh, we'll, we'll touch on this later so there's a uniform that comes with this and it's just a little slip about a little slip about how to use it correctly like you know wash it and whatnot but before we get to that excitement <laughs> we've got these little like little scrolls these little posters um, for you get one for each of the main four dressed up in their Lucky Star Universe outfit. So you got Konata as the thief, the thief fox, and then you got Kagami as the was it sorceress? No, she was a yeah, she was a sorceress, uh, bunny or rabbit, right? And then we have the priestess. Sukasa, or I think she was, yeah, Priestess, and she's a dog. And then we have um, Miyuki, the knight, as a cow. So yeah, these are actually um, maybe about like two and a half feet or long or so, maybe a little shorter. They're not that big. Um, and if you're wondering, no, I don't have three hands. Um, my wife was holding, <laughs> was helping me hold these. 
Um, in general, I mean, she took a lot of these pictures, so... Um, no, I do not have three hands or four hands. I'm here to dispel all the rumors about that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, on to the thing that a lot of people talk about, and, you know, probably one of the most famous pieces of Lucky Star game-related memorabilia is that you can, uh, you get a Roo Gakuen winter school uniform. And, uh, it is not very big. <laughs> it's, like, meant to be, like, Konosa size. Um, although... Yeah, so I don't think many people have ever really worn it, if anybody's worn it. But, I have a surprise for you guys, because I was able to... We tried. I got, um, I was able to convince my wife to try to put it on. And after... It was very... It's very scary, we were worried we are going to rip it, because <laughs> it was not an easy fit, but we actually managed to see what it looks like when someone actually wears it. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> there is my wife wearing the school uniform. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if this, is, this might be the first time anybody has actually worn this, because <laughs> of course most of the people who have these DX packs, they're not... They're not going to be small um, enough to, to wear it, but there you go. And then here's a, uh, a back view of the um, uniform. It's very flashy. It's very, um, yeah, shiny, the material they used. And then the front. So yeah, there you go. And uh, with that, we cap off RGO PS2. So now we're moving on to the next category, Net Idol Meister. So this is an exciting one. Uh, not as not as exciting as, as before, but um, it's got some good stuff. So this is the box, right? Net Idol Meister. Pretty cool, I like this art. If you ever noticed, um, Miyuki's got like one of her pant legs is like <laughs> like long and the other one's like really really short. It's kind of an interesting style. And uh, the back of the box. So you know, the goal is that you take your favorite character and raise them into a popular idol. And it has some of the stuff that you get in the DX pack. And, you know, information about the game, of course. Now, one of my favorite things, this is probably my favorite box on all, of all the boxes. Um, because the box on the sides has a bunch of different characters wearing different outfits. So I guess a big part of this game is that you can unlock all sorts of outfits for this, for the different characters. Um, and as you can see, you got Yamato in this game as well. So in a way, it's kind of like a sort of sequel to Rogakuen Ultasai, because it's got Yamato post the events of Rogakuen Ultasai uh, featured in the game. It's really cool. So we got those characters. We got some more. Got Hyuki, you know, Hikaru, Nanako, Yui, Hinata. And then... I think I don't have it, like... Not this is this is not going in any particular order the sides, but we have uh, Minami, Yutaka, and then Misao. <laughs> All right, and then we have Yui. Wait, no. Why am I saying Yui? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's because I was think Hikage's voice actor actress is Kano Yui, uh, Yui or Yui, Yui Kano. If you flip the names to the American order, or, it you know, uh, Kano Yui Yui Kano. Anyway, so uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hikage, Ayano, and Hiori. So yeah, I really like these. Uh, you know, Ayano's got that um, cat's eye outfit. Makes you think of that part from from Rogaku and Ultasai when <laughs> Hiori and Patty wear the cat's eyes outfits and they're going crazy and stuff, <laughs> Ran running around the school. Um, and also, if you open up the box, 
you get even more characters hidden underneath. So this is the side that you open. So if you open it up, um, it's, you have the main four. So you got some Yuki, you know, Konata, and Kagami and Tsukasa. So I really like these. I actually didn't know that, these, that this was even here until I um, was taking pictures for this video. I didn't. I completely missed that these that this this side was had characters on it too. So it's a pleasant surprise. All right. So first item is um, this Hatsune Miku shirt, and uh, <coughs> it's kind of cool. I don't actually know if Hats does this imply Hatsune Miku is in that Adelmeister somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I'd say probably not, but uh, crazier things have happened. I didn't know that Digi Carrot character, the Digi Carrot characters would be in um, in Moedra One. So, for all I know, Hatsune Miku has secretly been in the game. We just didn't know because, of course, right? <laughs> Information about these games is very sparse on the internet, especially in English, right? As we all know. But anyway, the other side of the shirt has Konata. So 3B, because that's her class number. And then I also have um, pictures of it closer up. So I think these are also more color corrected. The other ones are a little... The color's a little off on them, but <laughs> there you go. It says Roll High School 3B. And then for Hatsune Miku. There you go. Now, next item you got is that you have these glow sticks, and uh, they're upside down because that's how they stand up, right? <laughs> now, I thought about activating these glow sticks, <laughs> um, but you know, glow sticks I am told do not last uh, very long, and I would imagine that 15-year-old glow sticks probably don't work anymore. So, uh, yeah, I don't have any video of me showing them off, but <laughs> we can at least look at them not glowing. Um, I wonder if anybody has ever documented what they look like when they are glowing. To be honest, it would not surprise me if there is nobody who has ever documented that. It wouldn't surprise me if there's nobody who's ever even actually activated the glow sticks. <laughs> but uh, there you go. It's also a yeah, nice picture of them. Konata and Kagami uh, on the glow sticks. This is the package they came in for the glow sticks. They come in a package that looks like this. So, you know, chemical lights is what they call them in Japan. And there you go. Back of the. Of the... Okay, so this says bend once. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you'd bend these. I didn't. Yeah. But, uh, too old, right? 15-year-old glow sticks, probably not going to work. Next up, we've got this really long headband. So, you know, it's got um, coal and saging. So it's like Lucky Planet uh, resident, right? <laughs> resident of the Lucky Planet. Um, so, yeah. Got a close-up of the... Headband with. Next up, <coughs> we've got a towel. <laughs> so it's kind of like a long, thin towel. I guess you could use it as a hand towel. Uh, maybe to wipe your brow after some um, riveting exercise or something. <laughs> it's got the four main girls on it. There's some close-up pictures of it. Um, seems like mine has... I don't know if they all came like this, but there's uh, some production errors. <laughs> Didn't come out quite perfect, but, you know. Oh well. <laughs> Conus is looking a little, little messed up. And then... Other side, or... Center part. Lucky star. Then other side with Sukasa and Miyuki, and Miyuki 
has also been a bit messed up. Uh, not as bad as Kona's, though. It's just a little folded in. But, uh, yeah. And then, uh, last thing that's not the game is that you have these, um, these, like, inflatable balloons. So I guess you would blow air into them somehow, and they would kind of blow up. Um, also didn't really feel like doing this, because <coughs> I didn't really know if I'd be able to, like, get them back to how they were <laughs> if I blew them up. Um, but I guess they would kind of turn into, like, cylindrical little balloons. And, uh, this one says, uh, Konata is my bride, right? Not my bride, uh, it's just what it says, right? <laughs> Yeah. And then there's a, uh, a Kagami version of it as well that you get. This one also says, this one says Kagami is my bride. And has Kagami on it. It's also a inflatable little balloon. Right? And that's it for the not game stuff, but here's the game case. So, yeah, basically just the, <laughs> yeah. Like with the, um, it's the box, but on the on the case. And then here we have the side of the case. The back of the case. So yeah, it says basically the same stuff as the back of the box. Then you have the case inside of it. So it's got UMDs, right? I had never, I had never actually seen a UMD prior to buying this because I didn't have a PSP growing up. So I bought a PSP to buy and this game, um, so I could play it physically. Um, yeah, so I never seen a UMD before. I actually did all sorts of silly things like trying to open up the UMD <laughs> in all sorts. I, I, I. I was making a real fool of myself because <laughs> I didn't understand how the UMD actually worked. <laughs> but yeah, there you go, there's the UMD. And then the close-up of the manual. So you can better see here the Miyuki thing I was talking about where one of her pant legs is like really short and the other one is, um, yeah, longer. And I always thought this art looked a little weird because like Miyuki's got like a... She's got like no hips in this picture. <laughs> She's kind of like got a snake body. I don't know. <laughs> Thought it looked a little weird. But it's a fun picture anyway. I still like the art. It's great art. Um, and then here's a video of the uh, manual. So again, maybe one day in a future video we'll go into more detail about what exactly these manuals say. Um, but for now, we'll just take a, a look at it. You can see there's all sorts of characters in this game. And uh, yeah, definitely really looking forward to uh, eventually doing a video series for this game. Because uh, it looks like a lot of fun. Because it's got a, good, got a lot of mini games, and it's also got a lot of story content too, it seems. Now the quizzes, all oh, those quizzes, <laughs> very difficult. So this game has like quizzes that you have to like um, really know your Jap Japanese cultural like otaku knowledge to uh, succeed at those. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll get there when we eventually do that video series. You'll, you'll know what I mean. And uh, so yeah, that that closes off Net Idol Meister. And lastly for the games, we've got. Rogue Aquan Otosai Portable. Of course, our favorite. It's the one that we all know and love from the video series. I really like this art, even if it's kind of... It's kind of interesting how this art is from, like, the kind of newer version of the um, manga art style. Like, this art style does not... You know, it's, it reflects an art style that's not actually used in the game. Any, in the game. So, it's kind of fun. And uh, also, this art got used 
to promote like the 20th anniversary concert um, for Lucky Star, and I remember being really psyched about that because I was like, "Wow!" Because <laughs> this, yeah, they used this, they used this art, you know. So we got some Royal Rakuten Otosai portable representation there, even if I think the concert itself didn't have any Lucky Star game representation, much to my chagrin. Much <laughs> to my chagrin. And yes, I know that's not how you say that word, but <laughs> I'll have to say it that way. Alright, so it's back of the box. I'll promote some stuff you can get. So what you'll see is that there's there's uh, 12 different shirts that would come in this box. Uh, or 12 different shirts you can get in this box, of which each box would only have four of them. So you probably would have to buy a ton of these if you wanted all 12 shirts. <laughs> um, but I only have four, so we will take a look at those four. And this is probably the most simplest of the um, of the boxes of the DX packs because those shirts are the only bonus you get. There's no other bonuses other than, other than the shirts for this one. So they kind of, I don't know if you ever want to say phoned it in, but they definitely were uh, less creative with this one. Um, so you got these other ones, this side of the box with, with uh, Konitsa and Tsukasa, and the other side of the box with Miyuki and Kagami. And the bottom of the box, or top of the box, one of the two. And I, uh, I guess I have this one here as well. <laughs> it's the same, but it's it, if the, if the other one was the bottom, this is the top, and if the other one was the top, this is the bottom. <laughs> anyway, so here's the shirts. Um, the shirts are panels from the comic. Specifically, they're panels that are used as part of the trading cards in um, the PSP version of Royal Gakuen Otosai. So, you know, you know, PSP version, instead of unlocking, like, fan art, or actually not fan art, you unlock commissioned art. Um, I, I came to learn that, that the art in the PS2 trading cards is, is um, commissioned art, seemingly. Um, not like fan art, but anyway. <laughs> Um, you would unlock panels for the comic strip in the PSP version instead. Uh, probably because either licensing or because of the aspect ratio is different. But anyway, there you go. So, yeah, it's one of the panels. It's a close up of the panel. So, yeah, this is just a, this is literally just a panel from one of the Lucky Star strips. So, there you go. Says one word, Conan or Yuki's trying to be like assertive. <laughs> She's like, uh, "Could you get me the? Can you get me the eraser?" It's another one. This one, uh, it's got Kagami. And if you want to know, are these shirts? What's are these shirts big? Or are they small? Um, they are not. They're they're like small shirts. <laughs> so, um, yeah. For reference, uh, my wife is like five foot three. And she's pretty small um, in terms of like size, and uh, these are a tight fit for someone like her. So, yeah, kind of unfortunate that uh, you're probably your your average Lucky Star fan is going to be too big to fit in these. But <laughs> there you go. So here's another one. Here's the or here's a close up of it. So I think like almost all of these come from the same four panel strip, <laughs> if I think, if I recall correctly, but um, I think that was just a coincidence on my part. Like I just I just got those, luck of the draw. It's the red one, I like the red one. Yeah, the red one's got a good color and it's got a good panel on it. Yeah, real shame that um, at least I can't wear these. It's way too, way too small. Lastly, you got the blue one. So this one's from a newer comic. Newer, relatively, right? Because um, it's got the different kind of art style. And then you've got, yeah, close up of it. Now, <coughs> sorry, 
onto the game itself. So, there you go. It's the box art. The box. I, I, the box case, right? It's the case for the game, right? <laughs> it's the side of it. Back of the box. So you can see they actually have some pretty late game CGs featured on the back. <laughs> Including um, one that uh, I'm sure one of my viewers will get a kick out of. <laughs> the Konata one. Although it's not the one where she smiles really mischievously. It's the one before she does that. But anyway. So yeah, this is like... Um, with Konata's, uh, Konata's... Yeah. Enjoy the the dream school life with Konata and friends, basically. <laughs> so they're trying to parse that. <laughs> Where was I? Okay. So here's the manual for um, RGA Portable. Now, interestingly, um, they decide there's for the name selection screen, they named the game or they named the character Katakawa Taro. Like as in Momotaro Taro. Um, so, does that mean that protagonist's name is Taro? Uh, I'd probably still say no. Um, but, <laughs> you know, maybe you could say so. Um, there you go. That's at least what they named it on the, in the manual. It's ta Katakawa Taro. But yeah, I, I take that to be just like a placeholder name that it, Taro is a very like, you know, just placeholder name in Japanese. So I wouldn't take it very seriously. <laughs> but there you go. I personally, I personally think Yoshikubo is a great name for him. But that, it's uh, obviously my bias speaking. <laughs> so yeah, so that's it for. Well, we have one more thing that's technically not part of the the game box sets, but is related to the game that I have, which is the um, perfect guidebook. So this is the strategy guide for Rogaku and Ultasai. This one's based off the PS2 version. And uh, yeah, it's how I was able to figure out how to properly route the, the video series, because it tells you, you know, how to get all the endings and stuff like that. It's got a lot of great information. I definitely plan um, to one day in the future make a video dedicated solely to this book because it's got a lot of neat information. Again, that's how I found out that the PS2 um, trading cards um, are seemingly commissioned art. Um, I always wondered what the story was for that, but it, commissioned art probably uh, is what they kind of imply rather than um, what I had originally thought, which maybe it was like a contest or something. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that. So here's the side of it, side of the book, and then the back. So this book sold for, how much did it cost? It cost 1400 yen, so probably about like 15-ish, 14 dollars at the time. <laughs> Not bad. I think I didn't pay that much either for this. I think I paid like maybe $20 <laughs> at the time. So, didn't get ripped off too bad. It's actually pretty good, all things considered. So, this is like a little thing that would wrap around the book. Um, so, it says like the one and only official book. Um, game, you know. Like having this as a set with the game. Um, is status like a, is a status symbol <laughs> so yeah got Nyamo and you got Akira and Minoru it's kind of fun um there we go so I'll have a video of me kind of flipping through part of it again plan to make a dedicated video on this eventually 
there's a lot of really cool stuff in this in this um in this book. I tried to I tried to <laughs> get a close up of Misao there and of Ko there, um, but uh, my wife was handling the camera and she did not know what my intentions were <laughs> when moving the book up like that. Um, but I tried, guys. I tried, I tried to get Misao close up and Ko close up. And this is um the routes, the flowchart for the routes. And this is a description of the mini scenarios and I think how to unlock them as well. CGs. Where they all are and stuff. Um, we got some stuff on Lucky Battle Chronicle and some like interviews, which again would be really cool for me to share what those are. Um, hope to do so in a future video. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff in that book. Um, this is also something that I got as part of, this was a slip in like, one of the books I, I'll show in a second, um, but I got this, I have this ad for Rogue Aquan Ultasai, um, I think it was in the, yeah, in one of the, like, the Lucky Star guidebook, which I'll show in a second, for like the Lucky Star in general, and it advertises Rogue Aquan Ultasai is coming out on November 29th of 2007. <laughs> which I just um, mentioned earlier in this video. The game did not actually come out until 2008 in January of tw uh, January 24th. So the game got delayed. Um, my best theory, and keep in mind this is just a theory, I don't have really any strong evidence to suggest this, but I think the delay was due to the decision to switch the voice cast from the drama CD voice cast to the anime voice cast because I think there's some evidence kind of to suggest that Ruogaku no Tosai was originally going to use the drama CD voice cast but the anime voice cast you know the anime was popular uh, so they decided to make the switch um, later on and they had to delay the game that's my theory um, <coughs> but yeah so this ad reflects that fact that the game got delayed there's also a, like a, a TV ad that's been circulating around, I've seen before, that kind of also says the 2007 date. And this is the back of this ad. Uh, it gives some information about, about the game and about the DX pack and how it comes with some secret goods, right? <laughs> um, yeah. I think also one thing I'll just mention, I didn't take a picture of it, but um, the game also came with like a little survey and it's just like a little white piece of paper, so like I don't think you're missing guys missing out on it. Um, that would say like whether you liked the game or not, or who your favorite characters were, and that's referenced in like in the game at the very end, <laughs> like the very last part of the game, where Kona just says like fill out the survey, and uh, maybe there'll be a sequel, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, that's a don't have a picture of that, but I just remembered that. So there you go. Nice ad for the game. And then we're moving on to strictly not game related merchandise that I happen to have. So, first up, um, I have all 10 of the Lucky Star manga volumes in Japanese. So, I know that these are like really expensive to get in English, and of course 9 and 10 don't exist in English at all, um, at least not officially. Um, but if you will believe it, I managed to actually get some guy um, who was selling his collection for like $20. <laughs> so I think I got all 10 of these for just $20, which was pretty insane. Because I know sometimes people will spend like $60, $80 just for one of these in English. But I guess in Japanese you can get it cheaper, at least back when I bought it. So I have all 10 in Japanese. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've, if you know me, you know that I'm mostly a, a game-only fan of Lucky Star. But uh, I do think having these manga volumes is still pretty cool. Next up we've got the Lucky Star Guidebook. So this um, is what had the Royal Gakun Ultasai um, advertisement slipped within it. I'm not sure if it came with this or if it was just somebody just had left it in there. Um, I also 
I, th I don't know the story behind why this guide, how this guidebook exists. Um, like if it's an independent thing or if it came bundled with something else. But whatever the case, I have it. I actually originally bought it under the belief that maybe it was going to have something related to Moedril in there. It turns out it doesn't have anything related to Moedril in there. I don't think Moedril is mentioned or represented at all in this book. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Much to my disappointment, right? But still, it's a cool book. You got Akira on it, you know, the back. And then here's the spine. And then there was also a little thing, I don't know what you call these, but like the wraps around the book on the bottom. And it seems to, yeah, it's just like a little ad. <laughs> so there you go. It's cool. And uh, here is the book, a uh, video of me flipping through the book. There's Ravish Romance, Ravish Romance art. So I guess you had some game representation, but I, I think that art is independent of Ravish Romance, I guess. <laughs> That's some cool art in here. I like the Minami laughing one, and of course Misao had to be shown off too. <laughs> so yeah, I think the Rogak and Ultasai slip will fall out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up taking a picture of it after finding it. I didn't. I forgot it was even in there. But there you go. And then next up we've got the Lucky Star Okiraku uh, Koshiki official guidebook. Konata is my bride. That's what it says. <laughs> now it says Okiraku which makes me think is this associated with the Okiraku box? I don't know. Again, I'm not sure what the story is with these books, if this was released independently of anything, or if this is bundled with, I guess, the Okiraku box. I don't know. <laughs> People like to sell, like, parts of these bundles as individual items. So I don't really know, but... <laughs> nonetheless, I have this book as well, under the belief that maybe it would have Lucky Star game-related information in it. Um, again, I was disappointed to find that it does not. <laughs> but anyway... Here's the spine of it. And here is the uh, back of it. And I have a video of me flipping through this one as well. It's got some cool art. Oh, yeah, I guess it had the Rogak and Ultasai art in there. <laughs> the... yeah. So I guess it does have some game stuff in it, but not... Not like new information about the games. I guess maybe you could count some of the Yamato information as being adjacent. Because <laughs> Yamato is represented in this book. But yeah. It's got a bunch of cool little information in there. And a little comic strip. And there you go. So now, I know this has been going on for a long time, but we are on the final item of my collection. So, <laughs> we're there, final stretch. Our final, last item, right? Last spurt, last spurt. And it is Lucky Star. Um, Murder Mystery, a one of the light novels. So I've had this in my collection for a long time. Um, it was my goal was to try to have this be my first light novel that I would read in Japanese. Um, but for whatever reason, I've always never had the motivation to actually read it. <laughs> but 
one day, one day I will read it and probably would also like to make a video on it in some fashion, probably talking about what happens in it. Um, because it seems like it is pretty crazy. You know, um, like, there's like a... <laughs> a scene in it where, like, Konata... Like, finds, like, a card on the ground of, like, an elevator. Like, some, like, dead guy. Like, a body is, like, in an elevator. And it has, like, a, a rare trading card. And Konata's like, yes! He's got a rare trading card! And she just, like, literally steals the card off of some dead guy. <laughs> Insane. Unhinged behavior. And so, yeah, this book is kind of crazy. Apparently. Love to read it. I think all the light novels are kind of a little crazy. <laughs> which I, I'm very excited about. One day reading. Anyway, here's me flipping through it. It's a very interesting picture there. <laughs> it's for sure. So it seems to be that, like, they, yeah, between chapters they have stuff, like, the character's blacked out, I don't know if that's, like, to imply they got killed or something crazy, but, you know, there you go. And, yeah, that's it! That is the collection! That is everything. So, um, yeah. This is a very long video, um, <laughs> I didn't think it would take this long to talk through it all, but... Yeah, I guess over the years I've collected quite a lot of Lucky Star stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, that's all I can really say. <laughs> thanks, you guys, thanks guys for watching through all this if you have. Um, let me know what thing you liked most that I showed off or things that you have in your collection that you think are really cool uh, in your Lucky Star collection or maybe just your anime collection in general. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have to to say about about that. <laughs> so yeah, have a good one, guys. See you in the next video, whenever that will be. <laughs> All right, bye.